This is a, um, a hominid foot. As you can see, it has five toes, and um, those normally would have been enclosed, I believe, and I will show you what they look like on the specimens that I have. And you can see that it's totally different construction than human construction. There's two of these, uh, they appear to be some form of um, uh, bones coming back, and from the underside they're seen as well. And then on the side that breaks off, there's what looks like a set of springs that work this foot rather than um, tendons. All right, now she's found a lot of this uh, particular creature, and these are both of the feet side by side. You can see that the toes are missing from this one, but that's where they would have been. And um, the the um, fibula part um, breaks off because it's not attached in, in us either. Now, she's taken microscopic shots of the skin, and I have as well of mine, and they are identical. Only hers is a little more washed out of white, which means it more than likely had uh, it came from an acidic area, whereas mine were not as acidic and it did not eat out the organic um, uh, ferrous oxides and so forth, so it is still red and actually somewhat gooey as a matter of fact. This is what it looks like at the bottom, or the one that was more complete than the other one, and uh, you can see the toes are pretty much fused together. She's found a hip bone and some other bones and some uh, flint tools as well. All right, what I want you to, this is my noto from here in Connecticut that I found uh, oh, five years or so ago. And the heel part breaks off where the uh, fibula would be. But you can see the bone uh, stain in there. And you can see the actual where the bone is up here, if you see it. Now, uh, and then, of course, there's a pattern in the foot. And you see that it's enclosed in the front. And at first, I thought the darn thing was, was, uh, had a shoe on. And then I saw this. The circular pattern here in the front, and these, see this here, look, see the circular pattern? Now, then I found um, another one, and it has the same sort of circular investments. You see, where things, the pad of the foot was underneath here. This was like a pad, and it literally glues on all around here. This was all fused on here, and it was originally like this. And that, that's, the, I know, it looks, it looks like just a chunk of, of mud, but trust me, I've looked at this very, 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 very carefully. That's where the bone was right there. Uh, and uh, that's where the, the pad of the thing invested. And you see, look at the way that, that's, <laughs> it's like a big, it was like it was glued on here. Now, if you see this one, it's almost like it has its own pad. You see that? And then it broke off the bottom. It has the same sort of sticky stuff on the bottom where it, it invested there. And that all broke off. But there was originally another pad underneath there, which this one still has. You see that? Some of the skin is coming off. And I smashed the top off so I could see what happened. And then I came down to the front. And you see this material here? And then you see this the difference in material, the different uh, basalt versus this red organic looking material. All right, now I'm going to show you something that I was sent to me just a, a short while ago. By the way, I just want to point out this. You see this big round bubble there, and you see that? That's that little button that's going to be on the other one. This whole side is broken away. But you see the big thing, and then the button. Now, that that's, oh, and by the way, the reason this is so slick looking is because I, I use uh, cod, uh, not cod, uh, castor, oil, castor oil or I use Vaseline on these to, to hydrate them. Now, you saw that one there. Now look at what's on the front of this one. You see the exact same pattern and you see the button that's on the bottom? The other one is broken away off of here. But this one is, is virtually complete. And that's there's a, some kind of a button that holds things there and then you can see that big round impression that's in the front like is the one I have on my other one. Okay, I'm just showing this under Fair Use Act commenting on, on a video. And this is by Brian Forster, uh, Lost Ancient High Technology of Egypt 2017 update. And they're showing, and you'll see it this a little more in a minute. And as they come across here and they show this, uh, the, the same structure that's on my no toes, they start to talk about, you see this looks melted? That's the, that's the blood that has come out of there. 
it, it, it flows out. All right, they're going to be going down through this Egyptian here. Now, look at the, the red emanations here. That, to me, is a blood. There's no reason for that to be leaking out. And then we get down to here, bang. There is, whoops, there is the the noto foot that he sent me about. He said, look at eight, I meant eight minutes, and there's eight minutes. And sure enough, he was right. There's the, uh, there's the, the, the gluey spot. And there's the uh, basalty looking uh, limestone stuff. And this is identical, same thing, identical. Not even, there is no difference whatsoever. Now, so I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, boy, that's interesting. So I'm going a little further. I'm watching. They, they're look, thinking, what is all this about? So I'm watching this and it goes down a little further. They're saying it looks melted and so forth. But uh, as it goes down here a little further, they're going to go out. And of course, uh, mine break off too on the side, just like that. Now, so now they're going down to this Egyptian, um, you know, and you can see it sure looks like it's a, like a, a, a statue. But then they came to here, boom, and I was just blown away. That's the guy's ribs. That is, there's no question, those are his ribs. Those are his ribs all the way down here. That is his lung. It's a, the right colors for the ribs, the, the, the marrow of the ribs. The red is the, the, um, from the, the, um, the lungs, and the part of the lung picks up stuff that is a different color because it's being transitioned uh, into uh, oxygenated. Then just below that, you have the, the liver and, uh, and so forth. And I mean, it's... <laughs> Oh, I, I don't know what else to say. That is, this is an Egyptian that was petrified. I mean, it doesn't get any clearer than that. There's his ribs. Boom, 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 boom. You can see him coming wrapped around. There's where his lung would be. And there's where his liver is. The same colors and everything. I mean, what can I say? It's what it is, what it is. All right, come on over here and join this group. It's called Mud Fossils Original Research Group. And um, this is, Tish Egerton just discovered the no-toes that we were just discussing. And there's all kinds of information on here. And we also have another one. Well, these are my groups. So, the, the Science Theory Challenge. And this presents all kinds of stuff. Here's giants. And there's no question these were real giants. I have CAT scans. I have DNA tests. I have the actual physical specimens. So this is Science Theory Challenge. And then... Um, there's other ones here. That, uh, another one here that I have is Mud Fossil Revelations. And this one here is about the true meaning of these discoveries because they are extremely meaningful. They're not just monkey bones or some curiosity. So, I love everybody. I hope that turns you on because it's, it's, you got to find out your real, real history before you can find out your real destiny. And, you know, and I'm going to tell you something right now. You see what you're looking at here, mud fossil revelations? Eternity is not a joke. If you think it is, good for you. And if you don't, think about this. You may live 100 years, but add enough zeros to that to get to eternity and tell me how many zeros you need. Think about that. By the way, this is all due to uh, Brian Forster and uh, running around the world looking into these things and um, Marco Mandrake, who uh, sharp eye, picked up on this. So um, they're the ones you can uh, point to about this. And uh, thank goodness for people that are paying attention.